Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing um, my Netflix suggestions, if you didn't see by the title. Um, that's what I'm going to be telling you guys. So basically I'm going to be showing you um, and just telling you a little bit about and just like telling you which shows and which movies that I personally love to watch on Netflix and just that some uh, and some were my favorites and stuff like that. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so let's just start with movies. Um, I'm sorry if I'm looking down. I'm going to try to hold this up a little bit more so then you can kind of see what I'm doing. But I'm just going, I'm on my Netflix account right now. Um, so some of my favorite movies, I really loved The Kissing Booth, which is a very good one. And there, I don't know why, but there's like a couple of movies that I feel like are kind of similar to, not similar, but they were just like, I watched them all in like the same like time period. And like they were all just kind of like back to back movies for me. So it was the, the Kissing Booth. And then it was To All the Boys I've Loved Before. That was a really good one. I loved watching that one. And then shortly after those two came out, a little bit later, the um, Netflix released, what was it called? Netflix released The Perfect Date, which I saw a bunch of like commercials for. And I was really excited about it, which is a totally good movie. And I totally suggest it. I, I liked it. It was a really good movie. Um, I actually, maybe you might watch that tonight. Anyways, um, okay. So, some other movies. Let's see. The Edge of Seventeen was a really good one. Um, that one is actually, that one is rated R. So, The Edge of Seventeen is rated R, but if I feel that there are only a couple of parts where I would be like, oof. Like, I watched this a little bit ago. It was such a good movie. I, like, I highly 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 i highly suggest it it is called the last summer it's just like the summer before they go off to college and like you know anyway so it's just it's really good it has um kj appa in it um and i just i love it i actually think it's such a good movie yes anyway another good one is pretty in pink it has oh it has molly ringwald it she it's such a cutie and I love her, but Pretty in Pink is actually a really good movie. I can't, there was one day where I had like a fever, like a really bad fever. And I was at my dad's house and I had like, I would, didn't want to watch the show I was watching at the time. I think it was like The Umbrella Academy, but we'll get to that later. Um, I think I was watching that and I just like could not focus. So I watched just a bunch of random movies and that was one of them. And I actually really, really loved it. So watch that it's really good um another movie is barely lethal so it that one's really good i really like that one too I, I really like them all okay so obviously they're my suggestions so i really like them but that one is about like these girls and they all were like taken in as babies to like this comp this like group thing basically and they like become like secret agents and they don't have names they just have like numbers and they just and then this girl like ventures out she goes to do like an assignment and then she pretends to like be dead whoa she pretends to be dead and then like she applies to be a foreign exchange student and then she becomes one and she goes and lives with the family under like a name that she like randomly came up with and basically that happens and like people just keep trying to find her because they find out that she's still alive and they're just like trying to get her back but she just wants to be a normal teenager and it's really sad, but I like it. It's really good actually, like she fighting for her teenage life. Anyways, so another good one is Christopher Robin. I know it was like a very like, uh, blah, blah. Christopher Robin is actually a really good movie. I really liked it. I was a little sad at times because it kind of got really, really sad. And I was like, no, absolutely not. Anyway, so it actually ended up being a really good movie. Let's see. Ooh, another good one is, it's called Definitely Maybe. Um, it's like, so this dad and her daughter, and her daughter, this dad and his daughter, and she's just like asking, how did you meet my mom? How did you meet my mom? And he tells her this really long story, but he won't tell her who her mom is in the story. So they, he gives them fake names, and the story is very long and it like involves like multiple different women and she won't tell her who her mom is and then eventually she finds out who it is 
and I think it's it's like actually kind of really cool to just like see him go through this life with like multiple different women and then to find out who like he fell in love with multiple different people but then he eventually ended up with this one person and had a kid and that's happening so we like that um because she just wanted like so her mom isn't dead or anything they're just separated by the way they're just separated um and she just wanted to know how they met but yeah anyway there's some other good ones no kiss list uh naomi and eli's no kiss list no kiss no kiss list no kiss list Na naomi and eli's no kiss list yes correct that that is the name of the movie anyway that one's pretty good um okay so the this movie is called what happened to monday it is actually such a good movie but it's kind of crazy a little so basically um so they are only allowed to have one child but this like woman gave birth to like seven children i don't know how but she did she gave birth to seven children and her like the mom died i think in birth um but this guy like the dad he like named the children after the days of the week so it was like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and monday goes missing basically at some point in this movie she goes missing and they have to find out what happened to her but they all can go out one like go out into the world on their day of the week and they all go by one name i don't know what it is but watch it to find out so yeah <laughs> Oh, this one's really, really sad. Here's a sad one, but I like it. I actually like it, like, a lot. Um, this one's called Kiss and Cry. Um, it's really sad. It's, like, about this girl who has cancer, and just she's a figure skater, and then she finds out she has cancer, and it's, like, it's based on a true story. And it, the, ooh, the saddest part about this whole freaking movie is at the very end, they, like, tell you that the actor who played the girl with the cancer was actually best friends with the girl it was based off of and i was like i cry every time i watch it like it was a big issue of mine anyways <laughs> okay we're gonna move on to tv shows okay so we're gonna move on to tv shows um i don't know but i hope that was enough movies to like get you going to I don't know if you can't think of anything. I hope that's some movies for you guys. Um, and let's go into some shows that I like. Anyway, so there's a couple of shows that are like my safety shows. Like if I don't know what to watch, I go to those. So those ones are Gilmore Girls, Friends. Um, Gilmore Girls is absolutely, oh, I love that show. It is honestly my favorite show. My mom, I think, first showed it to me and I love it. It's honestly the best show I've ever ever freaking seen it's got seven seasons so it will keep you occupied for a little bit longer than like most shows do on netflix like a lot of netflix shows kind of stop a little early but like gilmore girls was is so amazing and it also has a um another one another part to it kind of so there's another like series show that they did in 2016 that was like um it was like a season Oh, it was like, oh, so it was Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. I wanted to say something about seasons because it, it is like seasons related. So it was like an hour each episode and there were, I think there's four. So there's four. So there's one for each season and they're all each hour long. So they have those after and they look so much older and it's kind of insane. But I like it, but it also kind of makes me sad because then as soon as those are over, it's just like gone forever and it makes me sad but it's fine it's okay <laughs> anyway so that's gilmore girls friends i'm sure you've probably seen some snippets of it around it's great you know it's actually it's so good i don't remember how many seasons of it there is but like that one it's just really good it's just so funny if you're into like comedy shows and stuff friends is a good a good go okay so remember when i mentioned the umbrella academy so basically that one's really good it came out i think this year or like 2018 so i think it came out like this year actually um and it's actually really good i was a little bit doubtful about it when it first came out but 
I when I eventually watched it, it actually is really good and it's kind of just like spooky, kind of like whoa, bro. You know what I'm saying? This next show is gonna be Degrassi Next Class. Um, I haven't really seen the original one, but Next Class is on Netflix and it's actually pretty dang good. I think it's pretty fun. It has a lot of um just a lot of different like I don't know how to explain it, but it let me see. What I love about that show is the fact that it like it's set in a high school and I think that's so fun. I think it really helps me want to watch it because when I first watched it I wasn't even in high school yet but I always like was thinking about like what was going on and like I wanted to be know what it was like to be in high school well now I know because I'm in high school but like I don't know I really liked watching that it gave me a lot of perspective on life I don't really know um another good one is Alexa and Katie um that one is about two like two best friends Alexa and Katie and uh Alexa yeah Alexa has cancer and it's just like them and how they handle that together and how their families handle it. Okay, so um, I'm sure you all know what this is. It's called Riverdale. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I was obsessed with it for like two seasons and then I stopped watching it. And thinking about picking it back up again, but it's still like a really good show. I think that you totally should check it out. But I kind of just like stopped watching it because I just got caught up in other shows and I just, I don't know. Because I'm in the middle of binge watching. Dun, dun, dun. I'm binge watching um, Grey's Anatomy. I'm binge watching Grey's Anatomy. If you're my friend, you, you know I talk about it. Like, Grey's Anatomy is the best. I say watch it. If you're in, if you're okay with like gory blood, that kind of stuff, um, if you're okay with it, then I say watch it. Cause it has a lot of drama and it's like, wow, kind of insane but I like it. And here's the thing too, is I actually used to be afraid of blood. For the longest time, like blood freaked me out. I was like, no. And I never wanted to be around blood ever. And it was just like one of those things that I just hated so much. Um, but I kind of got over that. Um, it's, I actually started it forever ago and then I picked it up again. And now I'm on season 10. So let's just be proud of me for making it that far. So the next show, Perry Diaries, that one's pretty good. Ooh, a really good show. It's called One Day at a Time. I'm pretty sure they're canceling it and they're stopping it, but it's fine. They still have um, at least, they still have three seasons. So if you kind of just want like a quick show to watch with like a small, in a, within a small amount of time, that one's really good. It's um, about this Cuban family. And they're just really funny. Like, they're just really funny to watch. So some really good shows is The Fosters. Um, that one's really good. Did I finish it? <laughs> so there's, I don't remember how many seasons there are. But there um, are quite a few, I think. And they're, they're just really good. So it's about, like, um, this girl Callie and her little younger brother. And they are in foster homes. And eventually they end up with this one foster home. And they... Their last name is the Foster is the Fosters, and she eventually gets like adopted, and like actually becomes a part of the family, and it's kind of a fun little thing. But then eventually, the it want the, the the show like stops and it wanders off, to, and then there's a new show. Can't remember what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen if I remember. Um, and it's on Freeform. I'm really hoping it comes to Netflix because I really want to watch it. So yeah. Next one is Jane the Virgin. So good. My mom has been watching it right now. She really likes it until I accidentally spoiled something the other day. I'm sorry, mom. I really didn't mean to. Anyway, it's such a, it's so good. And it's, I'm pretty sure there's, the show is still happening. Like they're still producing episodes. So go watch it. So then when the new episodes come out, you're ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, another good one is Pretty Little Liars. That one was really good for the longest time. I watched it with my mom. So good, so good. Like kind of spooky, kind of liked it, but I, still, I haven't really watched it in a really long time, so. Yeah. Oh, um, another one is Once Upon a Time. OMG, I literally could rant about this forever. I love this show so much, you have no idea. So basically, once I should probably explain what it is, so you might wanna watch it. Um, Once Upon a Time is about basically the it's like movie uh disney kind of characters basically so they there's like snow white 
um, Cruella de Vil, like, The Little Mermaid, like, all of these different, like, Disney characters, um, and they just all live in this one little town called Storybrooke, a lot of them do, um, majority, like, not majority, but, like, a lot of them live in this town called Storybrooke, and there's, like, the, um, another realm, which all of them came from, and they all got, like, sent to Storybrooke, and it explains how all that happens, and it's literally, it has so many seasons, too. It is seven seasons. Oh, it has seven seasons on Netflix. I don't know if there's more that just aren't on Netflix yet, but it's really good, and I say watch it, please. So, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, um, I liked that one. That one was really good. I have not finished it because I got lazy and I stopped watching it, but I'm gonna watch it again, but my mom really loves it, so I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. My mom loved it. Like, she loved it. I watch shows way too much. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So, The Vampire Diaries. Check. Originals. Check. And now I'm watching Legacies, which just came out a little bit ago. Watch The Vampire Diaries, then watch Legacies. Then, no, wait, wait. Watch The Vampire Diaries, watch, then watch uh, the originals or it's just originals originals and then watch legacies um because it goes how it goes in order the vampire diaries was the first series um and then the originals came on about the original vampires and the vampire diaries is about these two the vampire uh, two vampires stefan salvatore and damon salvatore it's about them in mystic falls basically and then the originals is about the original vampires and just like their journey and then the originals ends with like the it ends with one of the originals kid like his kid um i'm not gonna say who her mom is because that's kind of a big plot twist and you kind of need to watch the first season the vampire diaries to kind of know her and then you have to watch originals to like we have to kind of watch the end of end and beginning of like those two anyway it's kind of confusing but it's really good okay so the last two shows i'm going to do is supergirl and the flash the flash i never finished supergirl i finished both really good like superhero shows i totally recommend um i think they're really fun if you really like superheroes i say do it especially the fact that like in supergirl the flash shows up in one point and I love how they connect some of these shows together. Um, I think that's really fun. Yeah. I'm done with this video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Comment down below any videos you'd like me to do. I could do, I don't know, any other type of suggestion videos. But anyway, these are my Netflix suggestions. If you just like, if you do end up watching any of these because of my recommendation, do use my Instagram, not use my Instagram, uh, post a photo on your Instagram story of you watching it and tag me and I will post probably try to post you on my story and just be like yes queen you know I don't know so I will do that though um yeah if you liked it give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe I've got a lot of fun videos planned like you have literally no idea okay so I will literally show you okay I have this page and then I have this page And then I have like seven more on my phone, which I'm filming on, so I can't show you that. But I have seven more videos on my phone planned that I am planning. So you should totally subscribe and maybe click the notification bell if you feel like it. If not, that's okay. It's fine. Anyway, have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good evening or just whenever you're watching this. Bye.